It's me! We're doing this whole... Adventures in backlogging thing. And... As you may have noticed... I'm continuing with... Uh, heavy rain. Video quality is not great. Stuttery today, eh? Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Ah, oh, looks like it's level though. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. We are a private detective. Back with oh, Scott I'm investigating again. the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim. He has, you know. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Please, to move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand. I don't understand. That I do not wish to talk about it. I understand that, I guess. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Then he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Why are the chips on the floor? What's going on here? Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? And rob the store! Give me what you got in the registry. Again. Don't fucking try anything. Yes. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ, don't goddamn you. idiot. Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. No, sir. Come on. That I cannot do. Come on. I'll wait for fuck. Ah. Now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Alright, alright, alright. Almost. Almost got it. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool and everything will be alright. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on you. Don't shoot, Scott. I quite like. Oh, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah, a little girl. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. 
What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, give me the money. Come on. Stop fucking around. Hello. I don't know what I've retrieved my microphone. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with Let's a lottery ticket again, eh? inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. Oh. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Can I? Is an origami please gecko Salamander? take the box if it can be of any use to you at all it did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy maybe he didn't find you in halo mr shelby i was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place i can see now that i was wrong Call the police! You've got a passed out dude on your floor! Call the fucking police! Yeah. Oh! Is he's new? Who's this? Who's this? I mean, turn the TV off. Not good for you. It's early in the morning. So what kind of TVs have static anymore? I feel like that was a thing in that Poltergeist remake. I didn't see it though. What did you do about the static in the Poltergeist remake? Somebody tell me. I'm not happy with that. That's a weird butt shot. What? Got a real wiggle, huh? I guess walking around in your underwear when it's your own apartment, that's... I walk around in my underwear all the time. So, what's the deal here? Who is this person? What's she doing? What are we doing? Anything? Coffee, maybe? Drinks in the microwave. No. That's not good. No. Yeah. Doesn't heat things evenly. It's not good. Not a fan of that. Ooh, things. 
Oh, no, she doesn't want anything. Player agency. Your character doesn't want anything. So now you know! I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm a little further away from the microphone than usual. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. How's about that then? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. See, that made me think she was going to the sink, but... I guess not. No, just gonna walk around. All right. Okay. So maybe there's someone in the apartment. Put some pants on. Oh! <gasps> that was straight up someone in the apartment. Alright, what's going on here? What's going on? What is this? Bright lights. He went that way, but there's nowhere for him to go. That's presumably my front door. Oh no, it's the bathroom. What the fuck is this apartment? Why did you have four taps? Why the two toothbrushes? What's going on in this place? She can't live here alone. That's that's not that's not that's not true. She does not live here alone. I'm not gonna use the toilet, thank you very much. Uh loose pills? Pills don't come loose inside boxes! They come in blister packs! Take enough of the fucking things, I should know. Okay, she has a face. Good to know. Oh, no, 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 put that back on, please. Back on, please. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not what I want. I wanted to put some... No, no, I don't want a shower scene. I wanted to put some clothes on Yeah, no more of this. Thanks Just let me play the game like Weird David Cage look I made a woman simulator Bloody. This is a bit, it's a bit sleazy Feels a bit weird the word exploitative comes to mind. I thought I was a pair of jeans on the uh, on the chair. Well, that was weird. What the fuck is going on? Okay. The 
fridge is open. Which means... Have we just got a hungry boy invading my apartment? So what's happening here? Hello, I'm hungry and ev Mate, is that food? Is that food that someone's put out? That wasn't there before, was it? Was it there before? I don't know. What the fuck? How big is this fucking apartment that he can keep hiding from us? What is this? There's someone yeah, here. I know. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could yeah, call for help. Yeah, you probably should. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. I'm taking the phone. What the fuck's going on? Come on! Knife in him. Oh, whoa, come on. What? Fuck was the point in that? A woman whose name you don't know, semi naked, in her apartment, and then gets murdered, and then it's a dream. What the fuck are you trying to do here, David Cage? It's just pointless. That was just a pointless segment. to Ethan. Back to Sad Dad. It's a bit like Charlie Cox. When the parents came home from church, all their children really were gone. The 
They searched and the called filter for them. effect on the internal cried and begged. Over. But it was all just no not good. The children have never been seen again. Is that supposed to mean something? Just... Okay, so it's a locker ticket. Like there was a locker ticket in the um for the other guy. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Yeah, you do. I don't think I like this game. I think I actually dislike this game immensely. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. But you've had more than one of those blackouts, so... What's going on? Do we really have to do this every time we get into a car? Like, come the fuck on. What are you trying to achieve here? Let's go to the luggage locker then. What? Is he agoraphobic now? Oh, anxiety through large crowds? Is that what's happening? Gonna... Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't... Can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Clearly not. Too many people. Too many people. Come on, just stay up. <laughs> right, I take it this is supposed to be some sort of gameplay informing character. And, um, you know, you're supposed to feel an emotion because of the things you have to do. Oh, fuck off. I'm doing that. But it's just annoying. This isn't... This isn't interesting or, you know, fun to manipulate. It's just irritating. changed. Okay. Oh, we're going supernatural here. What the fuck? Oh, he's having some kind of episode. Jason! Jason! You fucking walked off, you little shit! Jason! Dad. Jason! Dad. Jason! Uh, someone put time and money and effort into this and thought it was good. It's all David Cage's fault. Jason! I'm just gonna knock over as many people as I can. Why the fuck not? 
Jason! 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 What? What is happening? Oh, there he is. Jason! Come to me, Jason. Oh, what the fuck? Is that the same three people falling over? Everyone's looking at him going, uh, well, you're a bit weird. You know, rightfully so, he's acting strange. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm in the... Oh, I made it. Thought it was at the other end again, then. Just like, nope. Not doing this. What? Line 18, box number 3. Yeah. Do I not have to submit to some kind of search? 9, 12, 13, 16, which would make this, no, that, oh, it's in here, 19, 18, box number 3. Thank Christ they didn't make you just do the input number by number. It's a toe. It's a shoebox. Imagine that. So he's not going back to his house for a moment for us. Okay. That makes sense. Did you not open the box yet? Of course, why would it? I mean, not. What? A shoebox? What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? I guess we're going to find out. I hope we're going to find out. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. This is a bear? Is that a bear? Oh. I bred sugar receivers in Joe's garage and parking lot 498 and 8 years ago. Lexington Avenue. Alright, let's do number two. Oh no, that's. In the thing. Jesus, a compact. That's the bone that takes compact flash. Jesus, that's. It's going back a bit. Oh. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? I'm, I'm so cold. Dad! He died of hypothermia before he drowns. Nicely edited for a phone video in 2010. 
the uh, five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. Each letter reveals an address. So that's your first one. Yeah, I don't like this either. Maybe take them all with you. So you don't have to worry about them coming back and them not being there. Just a thought. Oh, I didn't have to do the ca car animation. Car mini game. Sure, whatever. Whatever. Okay. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Um... The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. Well, that may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. As a general By rule, analyzing the location, given a presentation, it's best not was able to stand to in front a zone of the slides. Might live. Otherwise, and what size is why this? The uh, fuck do you bother zone? with them? For the moment, about ten square miles. Miles. Oh, Ten square miles. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yeah. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So we do. One detail attracts Just my one. attention. The interval between the time Just when a victim detail. disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills Which up we know rainwater. Which we've just seen the video on Ethan's phone. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and Isn't find this what The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. Unlike we us. won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight go. victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's that enough. enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the six victim inches. died. Six inches. How much time do we have left? Look how like the other guy's not saying anything. If the weather forecast like, hmm. right, less than hmm. seventy-two hours. Yes, I agree with this. I don't agree with this. It's just the chief and mouthy cop. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. The exact geoprofiling zone being 10 square miles? Not a big zone. No answer. We we'll waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Uh. Okay. 
There is now. So, I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. All right. Well, something's going on. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance okay. in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Let's have a read of his... Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. I mean, you are kind of a prick. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past this game making you the Antichrist, to be fair. Alright, let's cross his... Oh, so where's he up to his book? Nope, not gonna tell me, okay. Prayer stool. Cross of Christ. Oh, hello. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Maybe he lets them burn out. I don't know. are covered with writing quotations from the Bible shocking shocking twist oh that's a lot of pills that's a psychotics depression meds yes for him okay Oy, oy, oy. Cleanliness is not next to godliness, apparently. Look at the Dutch angles. Lovingly living. Truly slovenly. Just lots of Jesus stuff. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution oh. complex. <laughs> it's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. The guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time yeah. here. All right, let's go then. There's stuff down there that I can't look at, so it can't be important. <laughs> Mara then really does it. It don't matter now. I wanna go. I wanna leave, please. Had enough of creepy house, creepy apartment, lots of crucifixes and Bibles. Oh Jesus, I'm just fucking going round in circles. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. 
As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Okay. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall this strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't this guy we, Nathaniel? Push him. We both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you? Now? I've got to do something. Blake, I what can't are you doing? talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you That's to go enough. and find new Leave prey, him doesn't alone. he? He needs more and more. Get out, stop. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid you in the park. Your the voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, Can we just didn't not? you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That That's enough. enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you. I guess Blake's trying to break you, but what good is a confession if he does? No! no stop! Just... Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? No, I don't think he did. You're gonna confess, you bastard! <clears throat> You are oh, the Antichrist. God. Down the gun and oh, smash you to your God. father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. Dave. For Christ's sake, shoot! I. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. That was probably the wrong thing to do. But I did it. So, there you go. Yeah, I'll say it was a blunder. I should let Blake die. Sir, baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Don't be breaking down doors, Scott. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding well, her son. Well, she knows he went missing and turned up fucking drowned. Ah, asthma free for the moment, loving it. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Baby screaming and no answers. Don't like the look of this. Let's take a look around. Oh, just walk in one direction, will ya? Jeez. 
Jesus. This game is a nightmare to control. Who thought this was good? This is balls. Anybody home? Oh, bye bye. It's the same. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. All right. Where are we going? Where are we going, Scott? Just pick a direction, yeah? Jesus. It's gonna be in the bathroom. She's gonna like slit her wrist or something. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Well, she's unconscious. The good old Shelby door destroying. That, that could have come up with something better than that. Oh, yeah, shit. too late. Oh no, she's still alive. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? She's gone across, that's, that's good. Wake up! Wake up! Ambulance. She's lost a load of blood. Lucky I happened to be on the scene. Call an ambulance. <sighs> Call a fucking ambulance. <sighs> Don't fuck for that. that. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Nappies. Dress the dress the wound with nappies. That's a terrible idea. Okay. We got. Oh, come on. Jesus, is that trying to fucking wrangle a pissed off dog? Just go over here. There we go. Oh, come on. Just go with the fucking... Oh. Just go with the... Ah! Just go here. Why don't you go here? Why don't you go here? What are you doing? Where are you... This fucking game, man. Come on. Relative controls are not good. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. I'm 
here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Oh, I need more. I'm still bleeding. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay yes, with me. Please. Can you hear me? Not perfect. But that'll do. Oh, we're wrapping. We're wrapping. We're wrapping. We're wrapping. This is not. This is not how dress. That is not how you dress a wound. Not a wound that deep. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. She's not okay, dude. My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> All right, mate. Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Oh, just go. <laughs> Wash your hands. Oh, just get in the kitchen. Why? You just suddenly turn. You're looking that way. Oh, my Christ. Hi there, Emily. So. What seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. <laughs> Baby changing minigame. That's a full diaper. Okay. How do you do this again? Oh, they just stopped animating the baby. <laughs> it just looks like a doll. That is cute, though. Oh. We do three face buttons Fresh and some dick move. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Put the diaper in the bin! Hey. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. She's hungry. She's hungry. I guess I better warm this thing up. Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't jump. She is hungry. Oh, 
Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently. So this is actually quite nice. Sweet. Little snooze. Some of the animations a bit dodgy, but um, but uh, the intention behind it is quite sweet. Kids. I like looking after kids, so it's a. Uh, and I'm broody as well, because I'm in my thirties. A lot of my friends have got kids. And it's a real way to to get at me. It's <laughs> with babies, <laughs> looking after babies. That's actually really sweet. I take back everything Thanks I said. Thanks for looking after my baby. I don't. That's his game. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. I know. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day okay. after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't it is do hard. it anymore. Babies are hard work. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. Okay. It'll be the same one sure. as... Uh, it wasn't his, I'd never seen it same before. Mark. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want yeah, to ask her for it. anything. Need help. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. Hmm. That's not how phone. Mm. You don't get static on phone screens because they're not looking for an analog signal. It was nice doing a Scott section where it doesn't seem to be any imminent risk of him dying. It's nice.
Also, Scott is a way more interesting character than any of the others have been so far. Okay. So what is this? Do? Get hit by a car. Again. Lightning doesn't strike twice, but cars do. Hey. Excuse me? The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. Will you, though? Persist! Persist, Ethan! Hey! Oh! Huh. Sorry. Didn't Good to see you. Me. My name's uh, What can I do you for? I've been working here since before my daddy was born. Oh. I'd like to get... my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Bro. Well, couldn't just come back out of the fucking office door again, could you? Thanks. Ah, uh, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Well, that car's been there for two years. This character will just hold on to a car for two years. What? What kind of place is this? This is weird. I don't know if there are garages like this in the States, but there certainly aren't in the UK that I know of. Oh, my dual shock full battery level's low. Guess we better call it after this scene then. What a shame. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's like a pretty nice car. Oh, it's a sat <laughs> Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first That's right. That's not how a sat nav works or sounds. I don't think I could cope. You have reached your destination. 
information. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen oh, carefully. Oh right, so it's recorded Take special the highway okay. and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have to. Uh. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. What? Uh... I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. So let's do it then! I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. Let's do it! Let's do it. Yeah, I know it's the wrong way. Come on! Whoa! I don't like that. Out we go. Come on. Sensible, it's a sensible, it's a
Where's the letter? Okay, I guess. Cool. Said no one. I think that's all I've got in me today. <laughs> this game is winding me up. It really is. Um, and I am going to call it there. And then next next time, we'll, we'll get into it. We will get into it. Ugh. Till then. <sighs> Thanks for joining.